Okay, we're going to do another simple wooden plaque today. 45 inches long by 5 inches, so there'll be a good be an inch take off here because this is 6 inch wood. So as before, get yourself your little plaque. This one's going to be the dark side of the moon. I believe it's a Pink Floyd track. So paste it all out. I'm going to have a little frame around this, half inch frame all the way around. Uh, three inch letters, so it'll be an half inch, half inch, so it'll be five inches in total. Get it all marked out. Get yourself some tape on it, just keep that in place. And then throw your carbon underneath. Now, the best way for me is just to draw around it with a pencil, like so, the full lot, and then you're good to go. You can get some spray on glue and stick that to that and try and route out. The outside of this which we're going to do today that doesn't work for me doing it this way if you're making avatars and you can use that over and over again so you've drawn around it all you stuck it down should I say you've drawn around it we're all good to go and you end up with something like that so we've got the dark side of the moon as you can see let's start routing this out the main bit I'm going to use for taking out the wood is this, uh, this quarter inch shaft, straight imperial cutter, one eighth by half inch. I will do most of it with that. But beforehand, I like to go around the old thing with these little CNC bits. They're very small, and you come in packs of five, is that five or ten even? And they're really cheap, they're fantastic. Because there is a smaller shaft on it. You will cry what they call a collet, which is that little thing. Basically, all that does is slots over there like so. Now that will fit your router with a quarter inch shaft on it. So I get this thrown on and let's start cutting this bad boy out. Right, we've gone all the way around our lettering with our little CNC bit. The hardest bit will be this full straight edge. Now I ended up doing mine freehand, as you can probably tell by looking at that bit there. But don't worry about that, we can sort that out once we start taking this section out. There is a device like so, which slots into your router. And that gives you a straight edge to basically run up and down your wood width and it should give you a nice straight line I actually tried it on the end I can just spin this round to show you I actually tried it on the end here and it did work but I just found I wasn't comfortable so I just did mine freehand in the end but I'll straighten that up with our next bits Right, that's all cut out nicely. I don't know if you notice, but the top of the uh, frame is thicker than the bottom, but that will be cut off in a minute once I've finished. So I'll just go around with my little Dremel now on a sanding burr, just to tidy it up, and then I'll cut that top strip off. Okay, we're on the own wood stretch now. As you can see, I've cut the top off. So it all fits in nicely. Now I'm going to try a bit of uh, mahogany stain on this. Normally you can paint the background black and then sand it over and just leave the nice lettering. But I'll try a bit of stainer. So this is what I'm going to use. Mahogany wood dye. And then what I like to do is put a bit of linseed on. Just to darken the back bit behind the letters and sneak a bit of dye off one of these and hopefully fill that in at the same time. So we'll throw some of this dye on and then we'll, uh, we'll see what we end up with.
Okay, that's all finished now. Stain has not come out too bad. Like I say, I'll just steal a bit off there just to mix in with the linseed oil. Just give it that worn look. I don't know what's happened here to be honest. Looks like it's burned, but I quite like that. So yeah, because it's a fence panel, it's already treated, been tantalised, pressurised or whatever you want to call it. So you can put it outside without any problem. And it is only cheap wood at the end of the day. Ideal piece for somebody that's just starting out and they want to practice a bit. I'll put my holes in the end there as you can see. And also some in the middle because it is quite a long piece. And with it being cheap wood, it'll want to twist and buckle a bit. So that just keeps it in place when it's fastened down to the side of the building shed or wherever it's going to end up. So yeah, very basic wooden plaque sign. Give it a go, see how you get on. Thank you for watching.